Russian foreign ministry said that the terrorists and the foreign sides that support them are responsible for targeting children at schools in Syria, referring to the latest attack by armed men against a school in Al-Wafidin camp in Damascus countryside. The Russian foreign ministry expressed condolences to all the Syrians who were affected by this tragedy, affirming full condemnation of all forms of terrorism. The statement added that those who commit such acts are criminals and deserve the severest punishment. The funeral of 13 students and their teacher who were killed by a mortar shell launched by armed men at al Tiha Al-Ula school took place in Damascus. The shells fired by the terrorists also wounded 20 other students. The Minister of Education asserted that targeting the school is another crime to be added to the black record of the mercenary terrorists. Syrian Arab army units destroyed a vehicle loaded with an assault gun in addition to three motorcycles and a van, killing all the terrorists who were using them in an Utayba town near Damascus. Meanwhile, an army unit in Zamalka and Damascus suburbs killed a number of terrorists who were killing and looting the residents of the area. Nevertheless, Syrian Arab army units restored security to Aqaba area, also in the Damascus countryside. Terrorists attacked Aleppo gas station that contributes to providing electricity to the city, causing the loss of 1,050 megawatts of power. Minister of Electricity, Engineer Imad Khamis, said that the attack caused power failure in many neighborhoods in Aleppo, adding that the terrorists fired mortar rounds on the fuel warehouses. In its session, the People's Assembly affirmed that the voice records that revealed the involvement of the Lebanese MP Uqab Saqr and Saad al-Hariri in supporting the armed terrorist groups in Syria make it incumbent upon the specialized judicial bodies in Lebanon to take the necessary legal measures against the aforementioned persons. In a statement read out by Assembly Speaker Mohammed Jihad al-Laham, the assembly made it clear that what Saqr had committed represents a crime in accordance with national and international laws and the violation of the agreements signed between the two countries. Al-Laham said the People's Assembly will prepare a legal file in cooperation with judicial authorities to pursue Saqr and his partners through the Lebanese judiciary according to the agreements signed between the two countries and international laws. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign and Expatriates Affairs Walid Al Muallim discussed with Filippo Grandi, the UNRWA Commissioner, bilateral cooperation between Syria and UNRWA. Al Muallim underlined that Syria will not hesitate in helping UNRWA and explained the dimensions of the conspiracy Syria is facing. He pointed out that the armed terrorist groups are not only launching a war against the Syrian Arab Army, but they are also destroying the economic infrastructure in Syria and killing civilians. Al Muallim pointed out that Syria is defending its people against the armed terrorist groups and the foreign terrorists who came from various countries. For his part, Grandi expressed high appreciation for the help extended by the Syrian government to the Palestinian refugees and stressed that UNRWA will continue its mission in Syria. He also expressed his rejection of attempts to embroil Palestinian refugees in the crisis in Syria and underlined that their main cause is adherence to the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people. Participants in the meeting of the Higher Committee for Relief discussed what was implemented of the approved plan, means of delivering humanitarian aid and meeting the needs of all displaced families, whether they are staying at temporary shelters or not. Minister of Labor and Social Affairs said that 120 million Syrian pounds were allocated for the relief committee to enable it to rapidly intervene and provide the needed help for people. In Dara, the National Reconciliation Delegation comprising 40 figures including doctors, pharmacists, teachers, judges and peasants met in Da'il with the governor of the city Muhammad Khaled Al Hanous. The members of the delegation expressed hope to see security and normal life restored in all the governorates after dealing a blow to the armed terrorist groups. On his part, the governor pledged to work for the rehabilitation of the affected areas in cooperation with the civil society. Patriarch Ignatius IV Hazim of Antioch and all the Orient for the Greek Orthodox died after suffering from a stroke. The late Patriarch was known for his patriotic stances and his support and love for the homeland, Syria. He has worked all his life to keep Syria a strong country with its peaceful coexistence and national cohesion among all the brackets of the Syrian society. Patriarch Hazim was one of the founders of the active Orthodox Youth Movement of Syria and Lebanon in 1942. 
In 1953, he helped establish the World Fellowship of Orthodox Youths and the Theological School. Ignatius was born in 1921 in the town of Mharde in the governorate of Hama.